This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tag's Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today we're gonna add 30 new fish that I wanted to keep for a long time. They look awesome. Let's get to it. Welcome fish lovers. Yeah. Let's see what we have in this one. This is a cliffhanger from the old video. We unboxed some fish in the end of the video for this one. Please check that one out if you haven't. But this is for the 70 gallon, the long 70 gallon fusion with the 406, Fluval 406 filtration and the Eheim 4 Professional. This is a fish that I wanted to keep forever. Now when I sold my goldfish, I have the perfect tank. I bought 30 Colombian Tetras. They're not gonna look good now on camera because they're so stressed out. 30. These guys are almost like small piranhas. So I buy 30 and hope for 19 adults. That's pretty much what you can hope for. So we're gonna acclimate these old school way, put the bag in, because my water temperature in this apartment is pretty hot. The apartment stays hot. So I could acclimate them like this, but it goes faster if they have water against the bag. So we're gonna do that. And then it's too early, the lights are not on. So then we come back to see how the fish look in the tank after a couple of hours when they calm down. It's perfect for them to calm down when the lights are out. And if you want to know how I acclimate and put them in, check out the video before this one. Because then I show you exactly how I do it with the fish for the 75 gallon cube. Okay guys, the next bit is 30 Colombian tetras in a green lush scape. Okay fish lovers, 30 Colombian tetras. And for those of you that wonder why do you want to keep Colombian tetras? Because they get to this size and a blue shimmer around the back and the fins are getting super red if you're gonna feed them super good food. And of course I'm gonna feed them Artemia and krill and blood parrot food and all kinds of things that's gonna make the fins look even more red and that is also gonna enhance the blue color on the back but the more special part is they are like small piranhas they're really fun to feed I think I'm having problems with one it's actually been a week since we did the unboxing that you just saw so they have been in here for a week. So I'm gonna put in some food. It's white mosquito larva. And this is not even starving them. This is just feeding them three hours ago. This is why I wanna keep them. Oh, you see the strangler. You say that? No, you don't say that. But this one, it's some. Um, one of them is hiding because he's having problems. But when you buy 30 tetras, that can happen. It's almost too bright. Look better like this. Yes. We saw how quick that went. So we have a driftwood piece that I tied to some branch, uh, some the braces of the aquarium, and actually the outtake of the Eheim. And then we have the Valisneria giant that is going to spread all through the aquarium, and some Java moss, really big pieces, and a cryptocrine bronze crypt 
that's gonna spread a little bit in this corner it's gonna look simple and plain like this but when the fish get I don't know three times the size they are now it's gonna look awesome and the colors are gonna get three times better as well that was frozen food but they're fun to feed all foods I'm gonna see put in some some regular pellet food see they're crazy for everything We have the L52 Plecos and the yellow bri uh, Brisnos blue eyes in here as well, so what these fish don't eat, they can eat on the bottom. The bottom. I think this tank looks pretty cool now. Especially like that I tied up the driftwood piece so you get a little bit of shade in the left corner. And like I said, this tank is going to evolve and look a lot better. But since we have one fish that's already having a problem, I'm going to treat the whole tank with general cure. Just to be safe. This is going to look cool. Trust me, guys. Java moss growing. Apparently some shrimp probably got in there with the moss. The back to nature slimline background. I showed you when I was in my fish store. In the video before this one. They look awesome. So thank you so much for stopping by fish lovers. I just wanted to show you my 30 new Colombian tetras. See you in the next video. Bye bye.